is the gate launcher. It's basically a catapult. I'm Erin Gray and I'm an occupational therapist. And I made this game launcher so someone with severe disabilities can join in the outdoor fun. Because it only takes five pounds of force to launch the game launcher. And very little coordination is required. You can launch a ball high enough to play catch. But my favorite is playing cornhole. It's surprisingly accurate. Let's check it out for a second launch. It's about as accurate as your average player. You can pull the string with any moving body part. You can attach it to a power wheelchair, but I don't have a power wheelchair here to demonstrate with. You can put a uh, put this onto a part that is not a moving part, not the foot rest, it's something that can take five pounds of cords like the chair hardware. A bonus feature I added is this t-ball feature. This holds almost any size of a child's ball. Nerf ball. And it launches it far enough so you can catch it fun thing about the game launcher is that everybody wants to play with it. Whee. If you want to make one of these for your outdoor games, this is what you'll need. You need about 10 foot of 2x4s, about 8 to 10 feet of 1x4s, 2x4s, or 1x3s. This can be just about any uh, thing that you have laying around. You need a couple of pieces of plywood here, and you need um, two by two that's about four feet long. This cup here is optional. You could use a, a little piece of plywood there or a wooden V to hold your ball. And you need about three bungee cords. The tension is adjustable. Uh, you need five of these screw eyes here. If you look here, this is what holds your launch mechanism and your bungee cords. You need one long eye bolt with a screw. This one passes all the way through to give it more, uh, less chance of pulling out. And you need this pin here. It can't be a screw. It has to uh, not have any threads on it or it won't pull out. And you need this stepping stone because this is what stabilizes it so it doesn't move around and more of the force is put into the catapult. So you start with the base here. This is just a box. Uh, mine is about 30 inches long and about one foot wide, but the dimensions aren't particularly specific. You can go with what you got. This is about uh, 18 to 20 inches high. And the arm here is mounted to a hinge. If you look up close here, it's a gate hinge. And that just gives it some uh, good stability. You can also use a metal rod that passes through the 2x2 two two and bolts to the sides, but I just happen to have a hinge. The plywood is for your stability, to uh, increase the stability of your base and hold your block into place. The block bounces quite a bit. I just put a few scraps here to hold the block in. And this uh, is just an extra added safety feature. It helps keep your launch arm guided right into the screws because if you don't have the pin in there there you get off to one side then the pin won't go through so that's just uh, help guide it into place and that's the game launcher <laughs>